In this quick start guide, we learn about installing and getting started with the Helios test drive. The test drive is a full featured copy of the Helios software suite, which can be downloaded from the Helios website and tested for 30 days. Of course, this guide is also suitable for any Helios installation. To get started, go to the Helios website and download the test drive. Note that if you want to test Helios on a Windows server, then you should request a Helios installation CD from your Helios partner. Here we show the procedure for installing on Mac OS X. First, double-click the downloaded .tar file if it was not automatically opened. Then, in the Extracted Test Drive folder, in the Mac OS X subfolder, double-click the Helios Installer app. Authenticate and read the introduction, verifying the system requirements and taking note of the security information. Click Continue and read the license agreement. To install, click Agree and Continue. Select the products you wish to install. We suggest installing all products to make it easy to test all features. Click Install. The final screen shows the status with reminders to issue passwords and how to connect. The initial installation is that simple. To verify, you can go to the Applications folder and launch the Helios Services application. Here you can verify that all Helios services are running. Installation on Linux, Solaris, or AIX is quite similar, but is command line based. On these platforms, after downloading the test drive, follow the link to the page First Steps After Downloading the Helios Test Drive Software. This web page gives instructions for how to uncompress the downloaded file archive and launch the installer. So launch the installer and read the welcome and license information as already shown. Once again, select all items to install. Use the spacebar to select each item. To verify, change to the Helios bin directory and run the srvutil status command. All further administration is performed using Helios Admin. Helios Admin can be launched on the server as shown here. Or you can log off the server and use Helios Admin from a Mac or Windows client as we shall see. We continue now on the OS X server, but use of Helios Admin is the same for all platforms. Launch Helios Admin, which is in the Applications folder. Log in as user root with no password. Helios Admin is used to configure all Helios server settings. First, we will use Helios Admin to view the system messages in order to check the Helios startup messages. Click on the List System Messages menu. Normally, there are just routine startup messages and the WebShare login URL. Make a note of the WebShare login for later testing. Now that the installation is verified, we should issue passwords to users root and Demo User. Click on the Users tab 
to view the local host users. Double-click on user root. If root already has a password, enter it here to update the Helios password table. Otherwise, create a new password and enter it here. Be sure to also record it securely so it cannot be forgotten. Now add a password for the user, demo user. Any host users who wish to use Helios volumes or to use Helios admin must have their password entered in this manner. Finally, if you have a host user account for yourself, enter your password to it. Additional host users can easily be created if desired by clicking the plus icon and filling in the blanks. Now make yourself a member of the Helios SysADM group. This will grant you administrative rights to use Helios Admin. Helios can also authenticate users via NIS, Active Directory, and LDAP. See the Helios Base Manual for details. Now, on the Settings menu, open the Server Settings window. Assign Mac, Windows, and MTNS server names to clearly identify the Helios server to Mac and Windows clients. On the Windows tab, Set the Domain Workgroup name of your Windows network if it does not use the default name of Workgroup. Finally, unless you plan to test the sharing of user home directory volumes, that can be turned off. In the Volumes tab, select the tilde symbol for home directories and uncheck Mac Visible and Windows Visible. From this point on, there should be no need for any direct server access. All administration can be performed from any network client via Helios Admin. So log out and go to a Mac or Windows client. First, let's test WebShare. Open a web browser and enter your Helios server's hostname, followed by colon, 2009. If that does not work, use the URL that you noted earlier from the system messages. WebShare is very easy to use. See the WebShare Quick Start videos and the WebShare manual for more details. Now let's mount some EtherShare volumes on a Mac client. Look for the Mac server name you just assigned. It should appear in the Finder sidebar in the Shared section. Or you can use the Finder Go Connect to Server menu. Select the EtherShare server and authenticate. It's that easy. Note that default volumes are already configured for the Helios applications and settings, as well as a demo volume. From a Windows client, use the Windows Explorer to view the network volumes in My Network Places. Select a PC share volume and authenticate. Once again, it is so easy for users. Mount the Applications volume to access Helios Admin as well as all the manuals. Helios Admin can be used to configure additional volumes, set up and monitor network printer queues, as well as configure Helios security settings. All Helios manuals are also readily available on the Helios website.
Now let's quickly set up some script server automated hot folders. One of the script server sample scripts performs PDF preflighting to check whether PDF files meet your requirements. Use the Helios Admin Scripts tab to configure script server scripts and hot folders and to monitor and manage jobs. Select the pdfcheck.pl script and assign it to a folder to create a hot folder. On the Environment tab, specify the preflight profile and report language. Save. Now when PDF files are saved to the hot folder, a report will be generated, indicating whether the PDF meets the specified criteria. Reports are output in PDF and HTML. Sharing this folder via WebShare allows you to provide remote PDF preflighting to staff and customers. In addition to the many included sample script server scripts, you can use Helios Script Assistant, found on the Helios Applications volume, to automatically create your own custom hot folder scripts for script server workflow automation. Here we use Script Assistant to create a script to automate a hot folder to accept images of any type and create RGB JPEG copies ready for use in web pages, for example, for catalog previews. Simply launch Script Assistant and select the desired options. Once the script is saved to the Helios Settings volume, use Helios Admin to assign the script to a hot folder. Users or applications can then save images to the hot folder for automatic conversion. The installation checklist lists the various applications and plugins that provide additional capabilities to users. Be sure to install the Helios TCP printer driver on Mac clients to properly test printing to Helios TCP print queues. Congratulations! You just installed a sophisticated, high-performance, cross-platform file and print server with advanced image processing, PDF production, workflow automation, and proofing capabilities. The Helios Base Manual contains additional configuration details. The EtherShare, PCShare, WebShare, Image Server, PDF Handshake, and Print Preview Manuals describe how to best utilize those applications. The Helios website contains extensive product and support information. Here are some links for some of the resources already mentioned. That's how you do it. See the other Helios Quick Start Guides to learn more about using Helios solutions, including proofing and Helios WebShare.